can't stand you, my nigga. I wish I could kill you. I swear to God, I wish I could kill you. I don't like you. This is what I get. I take full responsibility. I did this to myself. So don't you ever come online and try to talk about me because I will expose myself. I ain't never been tested positive for no fucking herpes. I ain't never been tested positive for no HIV. I ain't never been tested positive for nothing. You got me fucked up. Now, this all went down about um, a week ago, but I'm just now getting to it to cover it on my platform. If you guys are on my Instagram, then y'all already got this tea when it dropped because I posted it on my Instagram, but I'm just now reacting to it now for you guys. So let's get into the craziness, okay? Okay. Let's be real. Let's be real. You feel threatened by Malia at times. Keep it fucking real for the people right now. Why do you feel threatened? Because you know I like fucking her. Come on. Let's talk. Like let's be it. Let's have a real head. nigga moment. You know I like fucking her. And you feel like maybe her pussy a little tighter than yours. Let's talk. Tell the people what it is. Yeah, I do. Yeah. You feel that I like fucking her more and I might catch feelings for her more than you. But guess what? She a fucking apple and you an orange. It's variety. Ain't no competition. I like both. Hey, yo! When I say fight, That means y'all come in to the middle and fight. When I say break, that means y'all break it up and reset, you heard? We gonna handle this tribe. That was a point in my life where I did a lot of homosexual acts. You know what I'm saying? Um, for money. I'm not a homosexual. That's just the truth. But it was a hustle for me, and I did it. Um, I'm a man. You don't think that there should be more people like me in the world? I got to clone myself, man. Because guess what? They ain't no real nigga. Yeah. So we can track them back to the source. Okay? Y'all need to get together. If you find a real nigga, you need to get on board. Because you lame if you were a lame nigga. You were a nigga that don't got divinize yourself. But I trying to push. Say you got divinize yourself. Just so he can have your pussy. I'm sorry. You crazy. Come here. For real. It was all good in Copeville until everything just took a turn for the worse once the one who was saying that you need to have a real nigga and you need to be able to share a real nigga. She escaped Copeville, start spilling the beans, and then Nature Boy decided to start denouncing his wives, saying they are not up to par for him, and decided to start spilling the beans. What I created here as you see from our three beautiful wives, is somewhat of a facade. It's not real. These women are young. Mm -hmm. I'm from the hood. I'm 38 years old. These women can't. They're not on my level as far as maturity or experience. So why I put out an image about my beautiful wives and me being with my beautiful wives and I'm not truly happy I'm not getting what I need because these women, we don't relate to each other on a generational level. You know, they're 22, 22, and I is 31, but I is not where I'm from. You see, I'm from Harlem. I'm from a different, I'm from a different cloth. And I need a woman more like myself, but I wanted the world to see that black men, we are powerful and I created something um, as somewhat of a facade, but I have to live in this facade. I have to live in this world when the camera goes off. The truth about it is that I'm not happy. I have good sex with Malia, but outside of the sex, she doesn't relate to me mentally. She responds to me in ways that are difficult because at the end of the day, it's not for me. 
So I'm lying to you and I'm lying to my reflection and I can no longer lie to myself because at the end of the day, it's not right. This is a good idea. I created this illusion, but the illusion is just me fantasizing about what I feel is a weapon against white supremacy. In that video, he was claiming that he no longer wanted them to be his sister wives, saying that they didn't please him. They were too young. He didn't want them. And then when people started to say, like, well, good, are they going home? Are they going to go with their children? Because several of them who are there abandoned their children to be with him. And then he was like, oh, no, they, they're, they're still going to stay here and they're still going to be here. But, you know, it just was a whole hoop of crap. But anyways, so after this, then his um, main sister wife that just left, she went online to start spilling the beans. And this is what she had to say. I had to give him head um, every night. And um, I had chose to start to give him head every night because as a woman, I had decided that I was going to support my man. And anybody who knows me knows that when I am into a relationship with someone or I consider myself to be in a relationship with someone, I don't take that lightly. I take that very seriously. I'm very wholeheartedly dedicated and committed to the relationship that I get into when I do get into one. So I had dedicated giving him head every night. And it, it became overwhelming for me because I would be super big and pregnant and he still would be asking me for head. And I just, at that point in my journey, I just allowed him to sleep. Like he already was sleeping with every woman that had touched ground and carbonation, but I had got lenient with him sleeping with everyone because before, before those initial times where I started getting frustrated with the sexual activity, um, he was like telling me like I'm just gonna go have sex with her right quick, da 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 da. Like she's gonna be your sister, and I would like be super mad because he would want to have sex with them, and then it would have like every time he had sex with somebody, it would be a show because you know I would be so mad, and he would have to like give me all of these gifts and give me everything I want and treat me like the queen to make me feel better and all of this extra stuff. So, um, and he did, he did that to win me over. And, um, he calls it, spo he says that I'm spoiled. No bitch, I'm a woman. And that shit you shouldn't be doing to no real woman. So nevertheless, this nigga, um, even it's embarrassing. Yes, it's embarrassing. But at the end of the day, it's my life. It's what I've been through. And it's something that other women are going through as well. And I wish to seek to help them out of their situation too. I any woman, any woman that's going through this, whether it be, you know, <clears throat> so I got tired of that sexual, you know, um, I just got tired of it. And um, so I started letting him have sex with the other women. And what I noticed was my body started getting out of whack. I started having yeast infections um, occasionally. Um, my smell was different. Um, I even felt different. I felt disgusted. I felt like I needed to take a shower every day. And... <clears throat> <laughs> she got me off at the part where she said she started to feel like she needed to take a shower every day. Um, I even felt different. I felt disgusted. I felt like I needed to take a shower every day. And um, I feel like as a woman, hygiene is very, very important. Um, and as a woman, we know our bodies. We know if something is off. We know if something not right. So definitely be in tune with your body. And she should be aware of when there are changes in her body. The only thing that I wanted to pause and say that as a woman, you should be taking a shower every day regardless. <laughs> now, it is natural for us to, like I said, take heed if, if there are certain things that are off with our bodies and things like that. But it shouldn't be a situation to where you suddenly want to take a bath every day. You should want to take a bath every day because it's good hygiene. Whether you go in somewhere or not, like even with, within this day and time of COVID that we are in, a lot of people are not going out the house as much, you still need to wash your behind every single day. In my opinion, my opinion, your hygiene may be set up different, but as a woman, I feel like it is very imperative that we wash our bodies every day. Like we got a womb that needs to be handled, I believe, 
every day, not every other day, not every three days, not every two days, not only when you start smelling musty, not only when you start to, sm you know what I'm saying? No, I feel like good hygiene practice is to bathe every day. But other than that, I understand everything else she's saying. Like as a woman, she started to notice that her body started to change. Her body started to be different because he was sleeping with these women. And if you're dealing with a guy who's dealing with a bunch of different women, that is going to throw your body out of whack. That's what happens. Um, let me let her continue. I just wanted to give that PSA to let the ladies know. I hope that y'all watching y'all behind every day. And um, I, I, I exposed this fact to him. And um, he was like, no, you're tripping. That's your mind doing that because you really don't want to do it anyway. And you need to get with the program and you need to start thinking like me more so you can be more in tune with me and this, this and that. And so I'm like, OK, <clears throat> so I'm thinking it's me. I'm thinking that I'm up with it. So I'm changing my thoughts. I'm changing the way that I'm thinking so that I can be with him so I can allow him to do it. So. I cut my mind off. During the pregnancy, I cut my mind off to the sexual activity because it stressed me out so much. So I had to focus on having Eliana. So when I had her, um, he did not let me rest properly. And he does not allow people to have medical attention there. And this is why Mama Dia passed away when she was there in carbonation because nobody is being taken care of properly you know everybody's being fucked mentally but the the physical body is like not a, even a factor so when the women get pregnant these women are not taking prenatal vitamins they are not getting ultrasounds they are not getting any medical attention that they need to ensure that the baby is not going to be coming out with any complications or anything like that and so the, the least that he does is take you to get a checkup to see the gender of the baby or to just see if the baby's okay one time and then wait for you to have it just to see how it's going to come out. Because he doesn't care about the children that he's bringing into this world. Neither does he care about the women that's having these children into this world. Neither is those other men care about those women and who they're getting pregnant enough to seek their medical attention because anybody knows that having a baby is not something that you should be playing with when i exaggerated the well i didn't even exaggerate the pain the pain was actually bad as like my pregnancy was excruciating pain he started doing weirdo shit like this nigga one time i woke up to him having sex with aya Mind you, Aya had helped me during the process with Eliana when I gave birth and everything. I was so physically exhausted that I needed help. So she helped me and she would help me hold her at night when she would get up and cry and stuff. So one time I woke up to him having sex with Aya while she was holding Eliana. Bitch. I got up. And I reached over and I grabbed my child and I put my child in my arms. And he was like, what you doing? And I was like, what do you mean what I'm doing? Like, y'all having sex and Eliana is right here. Like, what the fuck do you mean? What am I doing? And he was like, no, leave Eliana alone. Come engage, come engage. So he wanted me to engage. And at that moment, I put Eliana down and I started engaging on some real honesty shit, I started engaging because I did not want it to be a physical fight. Nature Boy used to abuse me physically because I did not want to do and participate in what he wanted me to. I literally have bruises, like scratches still on my on my being right now from the from the turmoil that me and him had, had been fighting each other through. So after everything was over, I took my baby and I never, I never, I never gave her back to Eliana. Like, like I never gave Eliana back to Aya like that ever again. Okay. So after Eliana Velvet or whatever, after she went on her Instagram live and she revealed that, you know, all the things that was going on while she was with Nature Boy, 
he went on this crazy rant where he was just mad. He was slobbering and drooling out the mouth. He was spazzing out. It just was a whole, whole mess. Oh, and that's why Malia beat your ass, bitch. And I told you to beat your ass, bitch. I don't like you. I never did like you because I, I love my daughter. I never did. That's why I let her fight her. That's why I let Malia whip your motherfucking ass because you deserved it, bitch. Real shit. I let Malia whip your ass because you deserved it, huh? And I knew you deserved it before you deserved it. Whip your little ass. Because you could beat up on Sheba that night. You beat up on little Sheba. And she from New Orleans like you and she whipped, bitch. And don't you ever get online talking shit about me, bitch. I took care of you for years when your daddy, you talked about your daddy like dirt. You talked about your mama like dirt. We got everybody here to say how you talked about your mama like dirt. You took, you talked about your own mama like dirt. Now you back in your mama motherfucker house. Bitch, you ain't shit. Yes, I'm hurt. And I'm going to tell everything because I'm hurting. I'm hurting because I'm hurting. And I'm hurting. I'm going to tell everything because I'm hurt. Yeah, I'm hurt. And you want to play me? I play you. Play me, huh? Yeah. yeah. We got the video. We got the video, bitch. Where you said out of your mother. You can't listen to Velvet, she Aquarius, she say one thing and she say another. She say one thing and she say another. You can't believe shit that come out of her mouth. We got all on record every time. When she went on live with Sybil and told Sybil that she was lying, and now she f***ing with Sybil, you's a f***ing two-faced bitch. F*** you. Yeah, hold on. Listen to this, y'all. I don't know who told you she has herpes. Uh, I had got an illness, a sickness, a mental disease that had manifested in my physical body as what we call the, the herpes virus, the simplex virus. I had caught this illness as a symbolic imbalance of the mental imbalance that I had going on in my life. And that's when I completely woke up. I was like, oh my, like, I, I just started, it was like a, a veil was lifted from off my eyes because with that incident, it propelled me into searching for more than what was, I, more than what I was being told. I felt like I was being lied to. I felt like they was li just lying to me about the, the disease. So then that's when my husband popped up in my life, the Honorable Mass Teaching Nature Board. And I, like, I started watching the video and I just, like my mind and bubble even before that even before that incident happened he had been popped up in my life to show me the way and guide me and tell me the things that i needed to do to get on the righteous path you's a fucking lie you came here with an std i healed you from an std bitch, and you said i healed you from an std now lie about it lie about it y'all heard her say i healed her from from mother herpes y'all know she came here with herpes now say she did did she come here with herpes yes or no yes or no did she come here with herpes yes or no she came here with fucking herpes stupid bitch. that bitch came here with herpes she still got it uh-huh and i like you know what i'm gonna fuck around and disappear on y'all bitches because i don't fucking like y'all I don't like y'all. Y'all don't like me and I don't like y'all. And, and I'm going to be real with you. Y'all ain't not real. And y'all see this bitch is fake and y'all going to give her fucking power. Let her talk. And I'm going to ignore y'all bitches. I'm going to ignore I'm going to ignore all y'all bitches because y'all deserve that shit. And she going to fall on her face. And she going to come running back to me. And I'm going to make her motherfucking lick my ass, nigga. It's not as she, she already licked my ass anyway. She ate my bookers and licked my ass. She already ate my bookers and she licked. Ass, stupid bitch. Now how my nuts taste bitch. The nigga she about to go suck You gonna kiss her in the mouth How my nuts taste bitch. Cause that's my daughter My daughter in the background She done took my daughter out of my life And won't let me talk to my daughter She won't even let me talk to my daughter And y'all love that shit Fuck y'all Fuck you That's my daughter You know what I'm saying and It's all good though She won't even let me talk to my daughter at all She won't let me talk to my daughter at all And y'all know how much I love my daughter Y'all know how much I love Eliana. Y'all know how much I love my daughter. She won't even let me talk to my daughter. She came here with, with herpes. She came here with herpes. Talking about, oh, we got STDs and she got paperwork. You came here with herpes. You came here with herpes. I healed you. You came here with herpes. The 
came here with herpes. I don't give a, I don't want her to come back. I never want to see this again, yo. I don't, I can't stand this because she came back and forth and back and forth. She turned on me before and told y'all that the prophet already came. And then she told you I was the Messiah again. And then she left again. And then she came back again. And she left again. And she came back again. And she came in fourth, fourth fucking time. And yo, man, y'all, y'all phony as hell. Y'all deserve that. Yo, remember when she came back and she confessed that Omac had gave her STD? My nigga. Now she's saying I giving her STD. Bro, this is the STD. Yo, remember when we was in Panama and I did the interview about OMAC and how he gave her STD? Do y'all remember that, yo? I know y'all hating on me right now, but I need y'all to be real right now. Remember when we was in Panama, my Remember when we was in Panama and I interviewed her about OMAC? Oh my God, I was shocking. Who can get the interview with OMAC? This bitch said that OMAC burnt her. That was the first time she went back with my daughter. The first time she left me. You remember that? That was the first time she left me. She went to OMAC and she said OMAC burnt her. When OMAC had sex with her, her face swelled up. Remember she said that? She confessed it. She said OMAC burnt her. I was like, oh, shit, that's crazy. She came back to me. Now, when she came back to me, I healed her again. Then she left me again for some nigga named Hezekiah, my nigga. Some skinny, sick nigga. This nigga was sick as a Hezekiah burnt this bitch's bridges off. This bitch found a nigga the sickest nigga she can find. So sick that her pussy was dripping fucking goo. You, yo, I don't tell none of this business, but I'm about to tell everything. I cannot believe this fucking bitch is fucking out here. She's really trying to fucking play me right now. And I, and I ain't saying shit. And you really out here trying to talk about I gave you an SCD you fucking liar. You're a fucking liar. This fucking whore went to find some nigga named Hezekiah who had fucking gave her a disease with goo. It was like a string of goo coming out her fucking pussy. Facts. And I wouldn't lie on my daughter, on Eliana's life, and she came back here with goo coming out her fucking pussy. And I was like, what the fuck? Is that she was like, I don't know. I was like, that nigga gave you some shit, nigga. And that shit is stinking. And it was coming out her pussy. And that shit was gluey. And it was just stringing out her pussy. And I was like, what the fuck is this? And he sound like he been listening to the old lady I let y'all. <laughs> Remember that one live when I let y'all listen to the OG granny when she was talking about her, um, her grandkids. And she was saying her grandkids. Um, panties was gluey and gooey. That's what that sound like. Yo, panties was so gluey, they <laughs> remind me of fucking Elmer's glue, bitch. Okay? Mm -hmm. Keep it at 100. Yeah, you want to fuck with me after I took care of your motherfucking ass. So you telling me that I, I'm the kind of granny you used to hear it. Point blank. I dealt with her and I healed her again. Then she left again. She left after that, to go f with the nigga she f with now, it's in her story. She, she, the nigga she f with now, it's in her story. He made the song in her story. If you go to her story, he made the song in her story. The skinny nigga with the long dreads. The skinny nigga with the long dreads would not f her without a condom. She came back to me in Hawaii. She told me the nigga that he wouldn't f her without a condom. And that his d was little than mine. And that she missed me because my d was big. And she was like, this nigga is little as f and now she's still fucking with that nigga because his is little than mine. And when she came back to me, her he was super tight. I'm going to tell everything. But you got life fucked up. Oh, my God. He is a fool, honey. He is a fool. He was like, and his thing was little than mine. Ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> a mess. Now, let me tell you something about them little wankers now. Don't get it messed up. Just because you got a big one don't mean you doing the do and you hitting the spots where they need to be hit. Sometimes them little wankers know how to, you know what I'm saying, flip-flop that little M effort where it need to go. And sometimes they make up where they lack by giving oral. And sometimes them little wankers perform better 
because they concentrating on making sure that you are truly satisfied because they know they lacking in certain places that sometimes them little wankers perform a little bit better than you big wankers. But I don't know for a personal experience. I just heard from a friend. I'm going to tell everything. Now, I'm going to tell everything. I've been kept my mouth quiet for everything, but I am I'm going to tell everything about this velvet i'm going to tell everything because i'm hurt because of my daughter bitch. i'm hurting and you doing my daughter dirty and you won't let me talk to my daughter i miss my daughter i miss my daughter i miss eliana i miss my daughter my nigga and i'm gonna fucking tell everything you want to see here and lie on me you gonna fucking lie on me and my fucking daughter sitting right there my mother Daughter sitting right there, my nigga. I'm hurting. Yeah, I'm gonna tell everything. I'm gonna tell everything. My motherfucking daughter is yelling at you, trying to tell you, get the f out of here and stop yelling on my daddy. And you motherfucker gonna sit there with my daughter in the car and disrespect me. I feel spit coming through the phone. Stop spitting on me. Damn it. Can't believe this bitch. Spitting on me all Disrespect me like that, yo. In front of my daughter, Matter I'm fact, each. I need a mask. I need a mask for the rest of this live because I feel like it's COVID is coming through the screen. I need a mask. I'll be right back. Okay, I'm back. Um, this mask is from my girl Tony Michelle, and she has a website, it's a match.com. I S S A um match.com. Or something like that. I'm, I'm going to use her mask to, to block some of this crap out. Disrespect me in front of my daughter, bitch. My daughter screaming. And I miss my fucking daughter so fucking much. And I'm trying to be strong right now, yo. I'm trying to be strong. But I miss my daughter. I miss my baby. Motherfucker. Fuck all y'all. Fuck all y'all, man. I miss my daughter, my she the only one look just like me. I miss my daughter, my nigga. And don't you ever get online talking about me in front of my daughter, nigga. It's war now. I'ma tell everything I fucking know. And I owe and, and, and let me tell you something. I never talk about nobody business, no matter what they say about me, that's my law. But I'ma tell everything I fucking know about you, you fucking law. I fucking hate you. I hate you, my nigga. I hate everything you stand for. I hate everything you about. I can't stand you, bitch. You know how much I love my daughter. You know how much I love my daughter. You using my daughter against me. My daughter was in the background screaming for me, and I miss her. I miss my fucking daughter, my. I miss my daughter, my. I'm not gonna sit in front with you. I'm hurting. I'm hurting. Hurting. I'm gonna miss my daughter, my. I can't even talk to her. I can't even talk to my fucking daughter. Oh y'all, I don't give a fuck what y'all think about me. Fuck y'all. Fuck you. I can't believe this y'all online talk shit about me. After I've been here for her, I came to her in Florida when they could burn her. I came there for her. I was there for her. Y'all was there with me, wasn't I? Yes. I pushed Malia to the side. I threw all y'all away for her just for my daughter, my nigga. And it's to come back. I dare you come back, disrespect me in front of my daughter like that. You got God's wrath after you. You got God's wrath after you, my nigga. You got God's wrath after you, my nigga. I swear to God, it's war now. And you go to the police because you were sucking my dick, bitch. My dick healed you. you. Came in with an STD. I healed you. I miss my daughter and you took my fucking... You know how much I love Eliana, yo. You know how much I I'm like <laughs> I need a mask and glasses. <laughs> I need glasses too. How much he's spitting, good lord. My fucking daughter, bitch. Fuck you. I can't stand you, my nigga. I wish I could kill you. I swear to God I wish I could kill you. I don't like you. Now you can't go around telling people that you want to kill them. That's called a terroristic threat, and that can get you locked up. I don't like the system. I don't like this. is what I stand for, bro. I don't like the system, bro. She took my 
daughter. She knows how much I love my daughter because she sees it. She knew it and she still took my daughter. She still took my daughter. And everybody that fucking knows online knows how much I love my daughter, my nigga. Y'all niggas know I was there when she was born. You know how much I love her. And y'all niggas watch this take my daughter and don't let shit. But it's all good. Men go through all the time. It's all good. I stay strong because I know men go through all the time. But don't you ever come on here and try to get online after you went online and then you came and sucked my and then you leave again and then you came back you sucked my and then you leave again you take my daughter and you I can hear her in the background screaming like shut the fuck up mommy. Mommy shut the fuck up. My daddy loves me and I miss my daddy mom and I see her Yo, my daughter do not like her mother. My daughter don't like her mother. But she leaves my daughter with her mother to go f on the nigga. Get the f out of here. Get the f out of here. She leaves my daughter to go f on the nigga, This bitch ain't shit. And I deserve everything I get because I should have never fucked with a bitch that would ever do me like that. I deserve Everything I get, I take full responsibility, but it hurts. I'm going to need him to wipe the spit, the drool, off of his face. He just, after this, he just lets it sit there. Like, it just sits there. My nigga, this is shit I'm just going through. So what? I put it on myself. I take full responsibility for this shit, nigga. Because my, this is a drop hole. She know. She told me, my daughter does not like her mother. And every time uh, for hours and ignored my fucking daughter while she sat in front of the fucking TV. While Nana was out there fucking some But I fucked with Nana. I chose to fuck with Nana. And this is what I get. And let's learn a lesson. Make sure you get to know a bitch before you have a baby with her. This is what I get. I take full responsibility. I did this to myself. But well, don't you ever come online try to talk about me because I will expose myself. I ain't never been tested positive for no fucking herpes. I ain't never been tested positive for no HIV. I ain't never been tested positive for nothing. You got me fucked up. That's on my daughter. I swear on everything I love. I ain't never been tested positive for HIV. I ain't never been tested positive for herpes. You came here with herpes. I healed you and showed you how to heal from herpes. He says like his D is healing them. So with him not trusting doctors and going to the doctor, when did he have time to get tested if he don't trust the doctors and don't go to the doctor? Ever, nigga. Ever. Did I have, did I have fucking STDs back in the day? Oh yeah, everybody did. We was at the clinic every fucking weekend after the club, nigga. We had... All kind of STDs back in the day. So you had all kind of STDs, but you had all the ones except for herpes. When the clinics was out there, we used to go to the clinics every day and give them all penicillin and drink water. And nigga, that's the truth. I'm being honest with you. Yeah, come here. <laughs> we want to pull up all the receipts on this hoe. Yeah. All the receipts on this hoe. That's enough for him. Enough. I've had enough. But I just wanted to react <laughs> to the video live with you guys and bring you guys up to speed on the latest BS that's going on. He is running amok and being very, 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 very outraged at the fact that Velvet slash Eliana has left him yet again and is spilling the beans about, you know, him giving her diseases and all kind of things like that. And he's trying to combat that information by saying, hey, I didn't give it to you. You came here with it and I healed you from it. But yet he was still sleeping with her and um, all of those things. So I don't think that the berries and, 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 and grapes and whatever they was eating over there was going to stop HIV per se. Um, maybe it'll stop some outbreaks as far as like cleaning up your diet and you maybe you not, may not outbreak the same or something like that. But I don't know about the, the, the rubies and berries 
gonna stop that so if y'all was still swapping fluids after that before that i mean you really ain't really justifying or helping your case because you even put out videos of her sucking your way way with no no jimmy on it and obviously she's your baby mama you got her pregnant and y'all was swapping fluids so it's a mess i just wanted to bring you guys the latest nature boy bs so that we are all up to speed on the, the on the drama okay here's what it is i'll catch you guys on the next video if you haven't subscribed already hit the subscribe button right now not now but right now and click the notification bell so you notify when i post a video and i'll see you guys on the next one peace